The question we all ask, do narcissists truly know they are narcissists? This is one of the most common questions I receive about narcissism. Are narcissists aware of their own narcissism? Do they grasp how deeply their toxic behaviors harm those around them? As a self-aware narcissist, I have a unique vantage point to share my insight on this issue. My goal is to help provide clarity and nuance around the complicated question of narcissists' self-awareness. To start, let's explore the different expressions of narcissism, as awareness can vary drastically across types. You have the bold, brash, grandiose narcissists who constantly seek the spotlight with their loud boasts and actions. Their inflated sense of superiority and extreme entitlement is right there on display for the whole world to see. Then there are the more hidden, vulnerable, covert narcissists. On the surface, they present as insecure, emotionally fragile, and overly sensitive to criticism. But underneath still lurks the same grandiose expectations and fantasies of power and control. Their narcissism shows up through indirect means like manipulation, passive aggression, and playing the victim. So with these different narcissistic profiles, do they actually recognize their own narcissism? The short answer is only partially. In fact, extensive psychological research reveals that narcissists possess very limited insight into their dysfunctional relationship patterns, manipulative behaviors, and the devastating harm they cause. Early in life, most narcissists construct a false self, a persona or mask that conceals their profound flaws, insecurities, and emotional wounds. This false persona disguises the reality of their disordered thinking and behaviors, even from themselves. The deeper truth remains buried under layers of defense mechanisms, distortions, and rationalization. So why don't narcissists have more insight into their own narcissism and its destructiveness? There are several key factors that get in the way. First, there is their grandiose self-image. Narcissists have constructed an elaborate fantasy world where they are special, superior beings who are entitled to power, control, and external validation. Their fragile egos require protecting this inflated sense of self at all costs. Admitting they suffer from narcissistic personality disorder would completely shatter this fabricated self-view. It would bring them face to face with the flaws and inadequacies they find intolerable about themselves. Their out of control egos are precisely what blinds them from being able to see themselves clearly and objectively. Next, narcissists profoundly lack empathy and emotional intelligence when it comes to understanding others' feelings or needs. This inability to step outside themselves also prevents them from grasping how their behaviors negatively impact those around them. They cannot comprehend where they deviate from social norms, why their actions cause others distress, or what drives healthy human relationships. Their inner landscape is devoid of empathy. Narcissists also stubbornly reject any feedback or criticism that threatens to confront their false persona and expose their toxic behavioral patterns. They surround themselves with enablers who reinforce their grandiose fantasies and avoid questioning their actions. Challenging their false self feels far too risky and threatening to their equilibrium. Additionally, narcissists rely heavily on defense mechanisms like denial, projection, distortion, and rationalization to prop up their fictional identity. This allows them to bypass any genuine self-reflection that could lead to emotionally difficult truths about themselves and their abusiveness. So in their daily lives, most narcissists remain largely oblivious to the tremendous pain they inflict on others, the various forms of manipulation they employ, and the complete devastation they leave in their relationship with. They may occasionally have fleeting moments of insight where they glimpse their problematic behaviors and negative impact. But their deeply ingrained need to self-protect quickly overrides any motivation to change. Their grasp of emotional reality is simply too unstable and ego-driven to see clearly. This inability to see themselves and their actions accurately also means narcissists fundamentally do not believe they are abusive. In their mind, they feel fully justified in using, exploiting, deceiving, and manipulating other people to get their needs met by any means necessary. Of course, this reality begs the question, are there any narcissists at all who actually do gain meaningful awareness of their condition? 
Extensive research indicates only around 10-15% of people exhibiting high narcissistic traits possess some degree of accurate self-insight about their narcissism. But even their self-awareness remains quite limited in scope. As a self-aware narcissist, actively working to change my ingrained patterns, I can tell you the process of deeply confronting one's own narcissism consistently provokes excruciating feelings of deficiency, inferiority, shame, and vulnerability. The false self initially feels like your only protection against the onslaught of these painful and overwhelming emotions. Dismantling that fictional self-image and constructing a new healthy identity requires tremendous courage, daily commitment, and consistent external validation. It is a marathon, not a sprint. The workings of the narcissistic mind are complex. But in summary, most narcissists operate predominantly on a superficial level of self-awareness regarding their own narcissism and destructiveness. Their disordered thinking severely restricts any capacity to comprehend themselves deeply and honestly. Only a small fraction experience fleeting moments of insight. For survivors of narcissistic abuse, I want to emphasize that none of these insights into the inner workings of the narcissistic mind absolve narcissists from being fully responsible for their harmful actions. Increased understanding simply brings compassion for the narcissist's immense suffering without excusing their abuse. Survivors absolutely deserve validation that the trauma they experienced was profoundly real and that healing is possible. My hope is that by illuminating the narrow limits of narcissist self-awareness, survivors will feel empowered to forge a path forward to freedom and wholeness. It is a challenging but rewarding journey. Those are my thoughts on whether narcissists truly comprehend their own narcissism and the extensive damage it wrecks. I welcome hearing your perspectives in the comments. If you have any other questions, please let me know as I'm happy to discuss and unpack this complex topic further. Wishing you clarity and peace on your ongoing journey of understanding and recovery.